The Florida high school where 17 people were shot and killed reopening today just for teachers. School leaders say they're doing their best to stay strong on Sunday. Students and their parents will be welcomed to the school to walk the halls and talk with staff. On Monday and Tuesday, only teachers will be at the school. Students return for half days, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The superintendent says students and teachers who don't want to return to the high school will be transferred to other schools in the county. And a teacher at Stoneman Douglas High School told IU students today the country needs more empathetic, compassionate teachers. She took the microphone in a lecture hall in Bloomington and also told her story of just what happened in Parkland on Valentine's Day. 24 Hour News 8's Brenna Donnelly attended the event. Brenna, what else did she say? Well, she had quite the message and is a very empowering empower speaker. Mm. She's a teacher, of course. Her name is Catherine Posada. She's a teacher at Stoneman Douglas High School. She's also an IU alumna and made the trip specifically to IU to share her message with the next generation of teachers. She was very honest about what happened and what went wrong. There are numerous fatalities. I know that many of you are very concerned about the career that you've chosen. 200 pairs of eyes watching, some nervously, as IU faculty introduce Catherine Postata, an English teacher at Stoneman Douglas High School. I really want to make sure that something good comes out of this. Students freaking out teachers, it, it, was, it sucked. She heard the fire alarm on Valentine's Day and then the code read. She and her students hid in the corner of the classroom for 90 minutes, listening to shouts in the hallway. They finally got the door open and the first thing that we saw was the barrel of a rifle pointed at us. Um, and I understand that they had to assess whether or not there was a threat in the room, um, but they're, they're pointing guns at us and they're shouting and they're saying, hands up, get in the middle of the room. If I had had a gun at that moment, they would have shot me. She does not think arming teachers will prevent more school shootings. I don't think there's an easy solution to the problem or we would have done it already, but I don't think that is it. Her message to Indiana's future teachers? Please don't let this type of event discourage you or, or make you be afraid to become a teacher because in this world, it is more important now than it ever has been. A message powerfully received. I don't doubt my career choice. I think I'm more excited simply because teachers are having more importance now than ever. Posada says she's very proud of her students who have appeared on national news challenging lawmakers and politicians. She admits most of them are in the anger face of grief, but says she hopes change and improvement is how people will remember Stoneman Douglas High School. So Brenna, her students obviously will be coming back soon. Did she talk about what she's going to do when they come back into her classroom? Well, it's funny, she's an English teacher, right? Okay. So she said when the fire bell rang, on Valentine's Day, they were reading Shakespeare's Macbeth. Hmm. She goes, they will definitely not jump right back into that novel on Wednesday. Hmm. Uh, she says she's going to let the students talk and share their stories, share their emotions, and hopefully heal through that process before they go back to schoolwork. But no doubt it'll take time. It will. Brenna, thank you. Mm -hmm.